And so here we have the third adventure in the story of the Dwarves of Khazad Nubla. And if you've been keeping up, they just aided a, a dwarven hermit in um, getting him home and saving him from some Uruk scouts. And they are now making their way down the mountain towards Erebor. But, unfortunately, misfortune, there's a lot of fortune going on here, has befallen them once again. Because, if you remember from way back when, Grant was investigating the dragon eggs and he took one along. Um, to bring back to Erebor to say maybe we could use this to bribe Smaug with a, with a <laughs> child. We could weaponize it. Oh, the lightning sorted itself out. Brilliant. Um, and unfortunately, Grant's been made a little mistake because it wasn't, in fact, a dragon egg. Go, go. It was an eagle egg. <laughs> a very authentic sounding eagle. And suddenly, Mummy Eagle, and her name is Aoife, is very, very angry and is trying to chase the dwarves down, who will still inexplicably not give the egg back. Outstanding from Giblin. Outstanding from Aoife. Okay, Aoife. You've been Giblin. <laughs> Indeed. And so, um, what has to happen? Charges. <laughs> and so, they are desperately trying to make their way, but. Help has come from an unlikely alley. 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 <laughs> it's just through here. Help came from this alley. Uh, help came from an unlikely alley. The hermit, who they saved in the previous... Is that the hermit sound? <laughs> that's, that's him doing his thing. Oh, I that's see. The hermit, who's lived in these mountains for years, has befriended the eagles and has become something of an eagle whisperer. Or a puppy. <laughs> but and so, a bald eagle. And so hopefully he will be able to aid the, uh, <laughs> aid the Dwarven company in escaping off the board. And we will um, now show you quite how they're going to do it. Welcome to Strategy Battle Games, and GBHL YouTube video. You're here with your host, GBHL Damien. And GBHL James. And we are here with Battle Companies again. Woo! And it is the third and final instalment in the Dwarves of Khazad Nubla's adventure. Indeed, it's very exciting. Uh, they've been doing all right. They they took a bit of a hammer in the last one, but they all survived and got some tasty upgrades. I was but watching it really. It was really good. <laughs> <laughs> I am now a bit worried about this eagle mess. So what's this scenario? What so what we're going to do is you've got the board out in front of us. Um, they are running down from the um, mountains, trying to get to Erebor, and they have to escape. Grant, Grant, very crucially, the the dwarf holding the egg has to escape off the board by the end of turn. 12. And we've got some special rules in this. We do. And the special rule is that the hermit, mm -hmm. has he got a name? H for. <laughs> H, H for. He was. Uh, no, I don't think he does. He, no, he's he doesn't have a name. He's forgotten his name. He's been a hermit so long he's forgotten it's his name. It's all that rain coming through his roof. <laughs> <laughs> through his non roof. He's actually an eagle whisperer. He's friends with the eagle and uh, he's going to get to command the eagle on a 5 plus. With a 12 inch range. He's got 12 inch. Now, of course, he doesn't want to cause any harm to the eagle, so <clears throat> that's not going to happen. Uh, but he is trying to try and protect his protectors during the course of this. So he's I think kind of torn, isn't he? Because he likes the eagle, but he likes the dwarfs now as well. Can you give me a little bit of that, Ali? A little bit. <laughs> Nothing's fun, I'm torn. I'm all out of faith. This is how I feel. There you go, that was free. That was awesome. Um, <laughs> and so, yeah, they have to get off by the end of turn 12. Grant has to get off with the egg by the end of turn 12. And so the eagle can't <laughs> use brutal power attacks. That's no. Quite important. <laughs> very, very important. So, we'll go down, we'll show you the board, and we'll show the armies now. Get okay, so there. before we play this scenario, um, I need to remember that Sattler has an old battle wound, so on the dice roll of a 1, she doesn't get to take part in this battle. <laughs> Six. Massive she it. wants to be she there. She loves it. She, she loves eagles. She loves eagles. Yeah. So on the first turn, priority is going to go to the dwarves. So Damien is going to start moving them out across the mountain pass now. <gasps> They're making their way down there. They need to escape. They're making their way downtown. Need to escape east for eagle. Oh, don't make it obvious. <laughs> there she is. I'll get a photo of that and put it on the channel. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> you are over there, Gibbon. So here we go, this is it after turn one movements. And the Hermit, you know, it, it just going, he was booking it, wasn't he? He was trying yeah. to get across the table. Uh, but Aoife Eagle is swooping down from above. Uh, so with that, it's going to be a little bit of key priority very, very early on. Let's roll for it. What's going to happen? Oh, Eagle gets a four. Dwarfs! Nubla Oh, and the Dwarves get it. Oh, so crucially, the Dwarven Warband. I've been getting Grant 
as far away from that eagle as possible. Uh, but we'll come back in here because importantly, what's happening? Uh, the hermit is going to come on the eagle on a five plus. Oh, oh, master. So the eagle now gets to move and mess some dwarfs up. So um, we're in the fight phase. The eagle did charge Sattler. Um, Sattler is going to call her free heroic combat. <laughs> <laughs> and she's going to shield, <laughs> which is a great combination. So okay. the eagle has the higher fight. Efa, does it get? Oh, oh, it's it's a four. Four. Sattler. Oh, it gets a four. Sattler, it gets a five. Knocks the eagle back. Outstanding work from Sattler. Unfortunately, didn't quite kill it, so it doesn't get to move on. So therefore, we might as well roll straight away for, for priority, turn, for three. Turn three. Oh. It goes to the dwarfs. Important. Okay, so the dwarves rush forward and um, the hermit is going to try and command the eagle. Ooh. And he doesn't oh, do it. Doesn't because do the it. eagle gets to charge and he can reach any of them. Wow, so we'll come in when he decides where he's going, or she decides where she's going. So Ether has come down and charged two dwarves. Who are they? They're uh, Muldoon and Lex. Muldoon and Lex, so he should go straight into that combat. <laughs> <laughs> and Muldoon is going to piercing strike. Oh, going for it. Go big or go home. Let's have a look. He forgets a four. Oh, it's only a four. Muldoon. Oh, it's a six. Takes it. So Muldoon goes up to. Goes up by three. <laughs> Strength seven. Wow. So that's four. Oh, Defense eight? Yeah. Yeah. So Muldoon needs a five. Doesn't oh, wound. Chance missed. And the strength three Lex six needs a six and a four. Doesn't do it. Cool. So Ether backs away, and that means that we're going to go it's straight Aoife, into not Ether. Ether. Yeah, she's not a druggy. Not a real name. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a real name. Okay, so we're going to go for turn. Is it four? Oh, turn four. It's turn four priority. No, oh, drop the dog. Oh, it's only two for the eagle. It's all right because I've got a one. No, oh, I've got four. It's remarkable. Okay. And it goes to the dwarves. Mm -hmm. So it's the crazy hermit, and he's trying to command the eagle. What can he get? Oh, and he fails again. He's, I actually think that this crazy old man has told them <laughs> yeah. that he can talk to eagles. He's not an eagle whisperer at all. <laughs> and he was, a crazy old dwarf. He was just lying. So with that, we're going to go into the eagle movement. The eagle has charged. The eagle has landed. The eagle <laughs> has landed. So no flying. Uh, so who has she charged? She charged Tim. One of the children. Damn kids. Oh, okay. Come on Tim. Tim's going for it. I just got a one, it's good. <laughs> no point rolling here. Okay, so can only What's, strike. So eight defense six. So needing fours. Oh, Tim's oh, gone. And Tim. Again. <laughs> Every game. <laughs> So Classic mother, Tim. I'm so reckless. The mother eagle is raging. She's Indeed. taken down a dwarf. Yep. It's priority. In turn five. Turn five. The eagle is three. Not doing too well here. Oh, oh it's caught. The dwarfs. Get on. Oh, it's gone to the eagle. It's gone to the eagle. Okay, so with the eagle winning priority, Grant is going to use his one might point to two do points. his one of his two might points to use um, his heroic move. Now, whilst um, that will get the hermit in the right move. Because they're going to charge the eagle, the hermit isn't going to command them. He's only trying to move the eagle away. He doesn't want anything bad to happen to it. Because he's, he's a friend of both, you see. So we'll come back after movement. Okay, so we're going to start with Hammond, who's charging the eagle. Courage four. Oh, he loves it. Loves it. Can go in. And next we'll get to uh, Malcolm. Oh, he loves it. He's in. And next we'll go for um, Sattler. He's a five, so five she's fine. The brave Dwarven Warband. Indeed. And next we have the new recruit, Gennaro. Um, who, I think I'll leave it at that. The other's going to protect Grant. Good call. So the veteran Dwarven Warband have managed to get in on the Eagle to protect Grant himself. We're going to come back when we get to the combats. Okay, so in combat we have Hammond and Sattler and Malcolm all fighting the Eagle. Um, he's just drinking six, isn't he? Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're all piercing strike. That's what the dwarves would do. She just needs a six. Oh! <laughs> two sixes! This is horrendous for the dwarves. Wow. Who could go down to four, so it will matter. So, um, Malcolm, his defence five. Um, Sattler, his defence five. And Hammond, oh, it's defense four. So three's on Hammond. Yeah, picking on the weaker dwarf. 
Oh, oh. Hannah's gone down. And it is taken out. And they're needing fives on whoever's the next fours on the next one along. Yeah, the Sattler. Oh, oh Sattler's gone. The Sattler got a fake point? Uh, yeah, she's a hero. Oh, excellent. So you might not be gone. So what'd she get? Oh, oh. She's, she is so ungone, it's unbelievable. <laughs> So that is how our battlefield is looking. Too. Will the dwarves manage to state the ball before the angry mother eagle takes I them hope down? So. Let's, let's go into priority of turn six. Ah. Uh, da, ba, da. Here we oh, two. Here's a two. The dwarves get a three. So the dwarves get a chance to get closer to the exit. Okay, so Grant has legged it to begin with, and before I decide what else I'm doing, the hermit is going to try an eagle whisper on a five plus. Is he lying? <laughs> He's lying! He doesn't know it! making noise. So at that point I'm going to have to take some courage test to charge the eagle. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start with Malcolm, who loves it. Oh, brave. Very brave. And Sattler, who does oh. not love it. And Lex, who loves it so much. And that leaves us with a two door so yard chuck. Well, let's, let's go for Muldoon, who loves it. Them. And um, that's new recruit Gennaro. Prove yourself. Yes. And the hermit will run up saying to Grant, I promise I can really talk to eagles. <laughs> <laughs> and then that will go into the fight phase. Where the okay, so in the fight phase, um, Lex is going to piercing strike two handed. The other three are all going to piercing strike. But it doesn't matter if Ether. 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 Gets the six. Oh, she's oh, got it's a four. four. It's an opportunity. It's a chance for the dwarfs. Oh, oh, do the Uber car! Uber. Do it. Who went two-handed? Uh, Lex. So Lex. So Lex piercing strikes up to... Oh, oh. Like six, that's fives, two-handed. That's six. fours. Straight six. six. Difference of two, so yeah. Fours. Fives, fours. Lex needs a four. Oh, and he gets it! Yeah? Yeah, he gets, gets it. Gets it, apparently. <laughs> Good news. Is that net? Lex? That's Lex, gets a point of XP. Yeah. And then we have three more doors. So Malcolm. Um, Pearson strikes up to fight six, so he needs a strength six. Strength six, sorry, yeah, strength six. <laughs> so he needs a five. Oh! oh he's done it! Um, Another eagle go down. And Gennaro, a new recruit, goes up to four, right. so he needs a six. Kill it. Oh! It's close. Now I think crazy hermit man would have gone a little bit crazy if the eagle had been killed by the dwarves. <laughs> the eagle, after all, is his friend. Yeah, and he, might, he might have inexplicably gone crazy. His friend. Yeah. And so, who uh, else wounded? It was Malcolm, and that just leaves us with Muldoon. So Muldoon. Who's piercing strikes up to? Oh, he's done it. He's got up to strength six. He needs a five to make chicken wings. Oh, oh. the disastrous joke. So we move lives. on to turn seven and the priority roll. You've got three turns to get off, you're close, but can't get off next turn. It's a four. Oh, the dwarfs take it. Okay, so with Grant legging it so close to the board edge, um, the rest of the dwarfs are going to try and charge the eagle. So we're going to start with Lex. Oh, she's in. Uh, next up we've got... Throwing <laughs> Yes, <laughs> absolutely throwing weapon. Uh, she needs a five to hit. Oh, she's hit! Six is fours. Six is fours. Oh, oh. what a chorus. Can you imagine? Um, Clay Eagle shooting. Uh, next up, we got Sattler. He mm. fails again. And um, it's because she's pale, pale bottomless. She likes animals. Muldoon passes. Gennaro passes. And Malcolm is really important for me because he's the banner. Oh, he's failed. Oh, it's disastrous. Wow. Okay, so in the fight phase, once again, Lex is going two-handed, and Gennaro and Muldoon are piercing striking. Shall I set the bar for you? Let's set the bar. So the dwarfs get... Oh, it's a, it's a six. six. We all know how one-at-a-time dice work. Very oh, badly. Very, very badly. badly. <laughs> so the eagle has only one wound remaining. Who's striking first? Uh, it's got to be Lex, who's two-handed piercing striking. She goes up to five. It's flat. It's flat on this. Yeah. yeah. So strength fives. So still needs sixes of fives for going two-handed. Yeah. Wow. You can do it. Oh, oh that's a disaster. Choked. 
And so we've got uh, Gennaro and Muldoon. So Gennaro, Pearson strikes up to... Oh, only four. Six. Still six. And six. Oh, oh And Muldoon, Pearson strikes up to... Oh, it's four as well. Into six. Oh, that's this cocked. Oh, oh. No. John's gone begging. Wow. And so we move on to the priority roll for turn eight. Incredibly important, but the eagle gets this. Mm. Mm, Grant's got a mic. Oh, it's a five. Eagle gets a five. The doors get a one. What would Grant like to do? Grant will probably call a heroic move. <laughs> <laughs> but it would only affect him. Yeah. And the rest of the company obviously has to get off the board. I presume. Yeah, they've got to get yeah. off the board. They've got to escape Angry Eagle, because although the egg might be gone... Oh, finish this turn at least, yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So indeed, Grant will call the heroic move and legs it. With the eagle egg. I don't know why he didn't just leave it behind. Where did you get that eagle egg model <laughs> from? Because it's awesome. I thought it's a, yeah, it's a rare out of production model. <laughs> Coming up. Okay. Okay, so with Grant escaping, we do have to finish the turn, and the eagle has charged into Malcolm and Gennaro. So his friends are going to try and help him out. Um, we have Sattler, who has failed the courage test twice. Three times a lady. Hello. Uh, next up, we have Muldoon, who passes. And leaving Lex, leaving space for the crucial two-handed Lex. Oh, she's oh, in. in. It's two-handed weapon rather than just the fact she's got two hands. So strange to the combats. Indeed, all Aoife needs is a six. All three, all four will pierce and strike, and Lex will go two-handed. Of course. So, what does the eagle set you? Give me a six. Oh! A six. It's a disaster. So Lex goes down to defence five. So that'll be fours. Uh, Maldoon goes down to defence five. Uh, Gennaro goes down to defence four. Threes. And Malcolm goes down to defence five. So the one that needs threes. Yeah, that's that's Gennaro, the new recruit. The new recruit. Oh, he's all right. And again. And he goes out. And with that, the game endeth. The game yep. endeth. Because Grant got off this turn. Yep, the eagle egg has been taken away. The eagle is now distraught, distressed. It's down to one wound. It's going to go back and uh, try and create some more eggs. But at what cost? At what cost? We'll come Gennaro, back. Gennaro, Tim... And Hammond have all fallen. We'll come back and see what happens to them now. Okay, so I'm rolling to see what happens to my fallen, and we're starting off with Tim, who has fallen in every game so far. He's always come back. He gets oh, a two. He's missing the next game. Oh, he misses the final. Oh, he's got an upgrade that he will not get to use. Isn't he? Oh, it's a disaster. Oh, no. And we have Hammond, who's on his second game. Yep. Four. Comes back for recovery. Ooh, he's all right. And we have uh, Gennaro, who's just played his first game and died in a spectacular fashion. What? Oh, this is the next game. game. You are not worth your money, mate. <laughs> okay, and um, for my upgrades, Tim did get one, but alas, he's missing the final, so it doesn't matter. So we just have to roll for Malcolm. It's a three. Oh, it's the worst. It's Courage. Oh, oh. well, that'll be handy. <laughs> courage five. Courage five. Good, yeah. good. And any gold? Uh, yep, three plus one for uh, do. Oh, roll on the reinforcements table, I suppose. Yes, yeah, yeah. so if you get anything back. You get three. Three. That's spear and shield. What was it? Three? Yep. yep. Warrior variable with shield. With just shield? Just shield. Oh, okay, fair enough. That's, That's pretty cool. good. You might be seeing a return from this man. Gennaro <laughs> the second. <laughs> Gennaro. Gennaro's son. Generic. 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 <laughs> and we will now go around the campfire. It's the campfire. And that was your Dwarven Belt Company fashion. That is it. That is the last uh, game for me before the, the before final. Before the big meet-up. The right? main event. How did you think it went for them? Yeah, it was good. It was quite hard to, when we were talking about the scenario, to kind of balance how many turns or if they'd get off or how devastating the Eagle would be. I um, think it worked out quite well. Yeah. It was, they, they were moving faster than we thought. And the Eagle Whisperer <laughs> was awful. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't an Eagle Whisperer. He was a phony. Yeah. He was just a crazy they old dwarf living gone. in the mountains. They should have gone. They should have, no, yeah, no, you mate. can't. You no, can't talk to eagles. I quite like that from the narrative point of view. <laughs> that he, did, he wasn't an eagle. <laughs> the exposure of got to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, annoying that I would have got an upgrade with Tim. Oh, no, but he misses the next game. And obviously the next game is the last game. So there's no point in it. And Malcolm got a rubbish upgrade of courage. Maybe he did get a dwarf bat. 
so a bit of a balance. Yeah, there. Gennaro the second. Gennaro the second. Make his debut in the final. It was a fun little scenario. Mm -hmm. like, I think I think it was actually quite balanced. Yeah. With the fact that they were only courage four meant that every time one failed to charge, and you were able to, you won. We had to have three combats, and I won two, and you won one. No, you, no, you was, no, I you, think it was about four or five combats. Yeah, because you killed, um, you killed two in one go, didn't you? Killed two, yeah. Yeah. So it worked out quite well. I think uh, winning the game, but losing three members was yeah. a fair kind of trade. I think so. Uh, I think one of the things that these guys got to take into consideration as well is that no playtesting whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we really are sort of scrambling around the there was, a, there, was a big, there was a nice debate before the game of whether he should eagle whisper on a five plus or a six plus. <laughs> and it turned out the mouth. So. But it is just trying to quite create cool games that are a bit different to stuff we've seen before. And, and create a story that guys yeah. can follow and create characters that people can follow and fall in love with and then despair when they die. Grant is a man. He's, he's a he beast. Be. Yeah, Dr. Grant. He's, he's, a he's got his PhD, I think. He's got his PhD before the final. Yeah, he deserves it as well. Yeah. So, be, so at this point, these guys will have seen uh, scenario number three and scenario number three for both of the, uh, the evil armies. Uh, hopefully, yeah, it depends which order they go. Up in, yeah, it? it'll probably go in the order that it's been been filmed, I yeah. imagine. Yeah, um, that's so. That seems to make sense. So I think at this point, presuming that is the case, that your battle company has got the second highest rating so far. Is it? I think so. Okay. You're definitely higher than the Hunter Rock. <laughs> <Not Crystal Hunter. laughs> After they assaulted the, uh, the, the ten. Well, let's, they, they, we don't know what order they'll go in. On the off chance they're going different, it might not be worth doing spoilers. Yeah. So guys, we really, really hope that you enjoyed that. So that means that next up will be episode three for the Mirkwood Elven Army. Wait, so don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe. Uh, follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Make sure you support Jamie on Patreon as well. Support your hobby, hobby. And happy strategy battle.